Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm the Senior Money Advice Caseworker for the Citizens Advice East Hearts. Today I'd like to talk about tips for financial well-being. Um, the following short guide is designed to help you maintain financial well-being and to provide you with practical steps you can take if you're struggling to make ends meet. So let's talk about maximizing your income. Now, a reduction in income means you may not be able to meet your expenses, but there are many ways in which you can top up your income. Applying for benefits is one way of doing this. Citizens Advice do have an online benefits and calculator which you can find by visiting www.citizensadviceisthearts.org.uk forward slash benefits hyphen calculator. Another way is to explore self-employed opportunities. Now remember that you need to get permission from your employer first um, before you take on any self-employed contracts or opportunities and remember that that income is taxable so you will need to register as self-employed with the HMRC. Now minimizing your expenses. Now it is minimizing your expenses um, can be a little bit challenging sometimes because we all know we've all got expenses and sometimes you know it just comes that such that you have to spend you know to make ends meet or to sort of to um, facilitate a smooth moving um, household but when your income drops you need to cut your overheads it's as straightforward as that start with the non-essential expenses cancel unnecessary services um, but check the contracts to make sure you are not reaching any agreements. Cancel the related direct debits to make sure that payments do not go out and inform the service providers that you have cancelled the direct debits. It has to be a mutual agreement um, because the last thing you want to do is to be cancelling direct debits for services that you're contracted for and end up getting yourself into debt. So find out from the service provider if the service can be cancelled and then go ahead and cancel those services at least for, for the short term. Um, most companies are now offering, um, have now created um, COVID related policies um, within their companies to support people um, who cannot afford to pay any minimum contractual repayment. So you may be able to get payment breaks there on some on certain contracts. When it comes to rent and mortgages, you have to speak to your landlord or mortgage provider. Now, again, they will have COVID policies in place to support their tenants or customers. You may be able to get a payment holiday or a payment break um, if you have not used it already. Um, but beware, many companies have been known to increase monthly repayments um, considerably to accommodate the amount owed during the given break. Discuss the arrangement thoroughly with your landlord or mortgage provider and agree on what will be paid on top of your monthly rent or minimum contractual repayments. Be sure that it is manageable and affordable before taking the deal. We will provide you with a link to the Financial Conduct Authority announcement regarding mortgage payment holidays. You can visit www.fca.org.uk forward slash consumers forward slash mortgages hyphen coronavirus hyphen consumers. If you find yourself in a position where you cannot afford to pay the monthly contractual repayment of your mortgage, then give us a call on the advice line number, which is 0800 we may be able to explore other remedies such as support for mortgage interest payments, SMI for short. Uh, you can find information about SMI on the government website by following the link www.gov.uk forward slash support hyphen for hyphen mortgage hyphen interest. Now let's talk about the big one, managing your debts. 
credit cards and unsecured loans. Speak to your credit card companies and loan providers as they will have COVID policies in place to support their customers. In the last lockdown, creditors were offering three month breaks to the, to the customers. They may have policies in place to support you in managing your debts, but beware and read the fine print. You may end up increasing your monthly contractual repayments to repay any um, amounts owed during the break, at least for a few months um, until you break even. Um, it's just the way it is. I mean, it's either that or they may they may put any amount you owe towards the end of the of the of the, of the finance agreement, but speak to your your, your, your credit companies and, and they should be able to help you out. Let's talk about secured loans. Now, what we call secured loans are loans that are secured against assets. For example, car finances or higher purchases. Um, these are priority debts. Non-payment of these debts will result in the loss of the items secured within the contract. You should be very careful there when negotiating any reduced repayments. Um, once again, most contracts may or may not include payment holidays or breaks. If you've used it already, you may be able to take advantage of the company's COVID policies in place to support their customers. Always read the fine print before agreeing to anything. Now let's talk about budgeting. This is an interesting subject because I know, I mean, I practice budgeting at home um, and we advise a lot of our clients to practice budgeting but it's not something that you wake up in the morning thinking oh I've got to budget or I've got to put a budget together for um, for the month um, not everybody does it um, we kind of have it in our heads that this is what we need to spend we've got rent to pay we've got mortgage to pay we've got utility bills to pay for car finance this and that and we've been doing it over and over and over and over every month to the point where we forget that there may be some expenses or there may be some some things we're spending on that may not necessarily be important um, or be necessary to spend on. So we, we end up overspending on our budget, which sometimes results in putting us in, in negative equity. So budgeting will give you a very strong insight into your finances. It'll help you to see your financial status in black and white, and it will help you to manage your, finance, your finances monthly. Now, the Money Saving Expert has a brilliant article on how to budget, and you can find that article again at www.moneysavingexpert.com forward slash banking forward slash budget hyphen planning. The problem with budgets is that although it gives you a clean view of your finances, it's, it, it, it'll only work if you follow it accurately, right? So first of all, list all of your income in the spreadsheet, okay? To create a spreadsheet or open up a spreadsheet, list all of your income in the spreadsheet, including your income from other side jobs. Most people call them side hustles, but any self-employed self-employed income list that as well because it's still classed as an income. List all of your expenses in order of importance. Um, this is because you want to make sure that those payments are made first. Expenses such as your rent or mortgage, council tax, utilities, and secured loans should be listed first. Print out your budget and check it daily against your bank account. Look out for any inconsistencies and discrepancies um, when you compare your expenses against your bank account. Avoid taking cash from the cash machine. I know it's done, especially when you're in town and you 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 just want to spend a little bit of a little bit of money here. You might think, oh, oh, that's a cash machine. Let me just go and pull out the tenner. Um, remember that. Those little pennies and change um, that always get left after you spend cash always disappear. You can never, you, I've never been able to account for those those little pennies and those little changes. Like you take out £10 from the cash machine, you want to spend say £4.50 on something and you're left with 
£5.50. Um, if that £5.50 is given to you in change, in, in coins, for example, you might end up leaving it in your car or in your purse or in your wallet or, but it, it, it gets spent and you, you can't you, you don't account for it those little pennies always account for something and if you try an experiment where you collect all your pennies all your all your little silvers and coppers and whatnot and then calculate it at the end of the month you'd be surprised at how much money could have been wasted if you hadn't accounted for it okay so those are the little things that destroy budgets so look out for those now for help for more help or to speak to someone we're always on hand to provide you with free confidential and impartial advice and support so for more details on how we can help and how to contact us see citizensadviceisthearts.org.uk thank you